everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new welcome to my channel today I'm very excited because I got my hands on a palette that I really wanted for the last last one or two months and I'm not talking about eyeshadow palette I'm not talking about blush palette I'm talking about lipstick palette now I talked about this palette on one of my videos I can't really remember which one but I know I said that I really am excited about that that palette looks nice and I really wanted to get that palette but I couldn't purchase it to Sweden and when it was able on a website that I could purchase it to Sweden I was very excited and I immediately did that and I'm talking about Urban Decay Vice Metal Mates Matte Palette and I wanted a palette that has more like nude lipstick shades and more bold so I can switch to more like colorful shades when there are special occasions on work or somewhere else and I also have kind of like 7 or 8 up to 10, 12 lipsticks in my purse and I have different purse. I have a smaller purse with me everywhere that has my wallet and then I have bigger purse to, with me to work that I have my computer and papers and uh, yeah work stuff. So I have a couple different, different lipsticks in both of the purses and it takes me a long time and I have to dig in and look for the right shade that I wanted so I really really wanted the lipstick palette and I finally got my hands on this Urban Decay Vice Metal Meets Matte Lipstick Palette now I did watch a couple of videos reviews about this palette There's some people like it some people don't uh, some people say that these like metal shades are more glittery uh, are not really like metal but they have kind of glitter in it and I didn't care if they if they were metals or glittery lipsticks. I really wanted the palette. So today I'm going to swatch uh, all of these shades on my lipstick. And if you want to see me do that, please keep on watching. So I did zoom you in a little bit more so you can uh, see when I do the swatches on my lips. But this is how this package looks like. This is the package looks very nice and on the back there are shades and the name of the shades and it looks very cute and let's look at the palette look how beautiful it is very shiny now this is the back this is going to be very dirty very fast my fingerprints are going to be all over this palette but I don't mind I think it's beautiful and it is a little bit heavy so let's open it and there is a big nice mirror in it and here are the lipsticks now this is very good so the lipstick don't get get everywhere so you open it like this and there you have the shades and uh, here are is the lip pencil nice so I'm going to swatch all of the shades I'm going to start with the matte and then I'm going to go into the metallic shades and actually I'm going to use this mirror here so let's start So the application it's not perfect so don't mind but I really really like this shade it really suits me very nice and it feels very soft very moisturizing and uh, my lips are very dry today so that's why I didn't apply it very nice but I really like this brush it's really easy to use now of course you have to work with it you have to it's not as easy as uh, when it is as it is when you use a lipstick so you have to go over the lips a couple of times but I really like and it, this shade is even as you can see and it's very easy to build up so I really really like it really really like it so let's go into this so let's go into this shade here next to it this is more like a neutral or a nude shade I'm 
I'm sorry guys, my camera for some reason stopped filming while I was applying this second lipstick, but this shade, this neutral shade, the called Tame, this one here, it looks so nice on my lips and it goes very nice with my makeup look today. It's so easy to apply, it looks even, it's kind of easier to work with than the first shade, but it's it looks beautiful and it's not really matte, it doesn't feel heavy on my lips and I really like the finish, I really like how it looks. So that's a good. Let's take it off and take the third shade. Back talk. This looks very similar to Tame, the shade before, but it has a pink undertone. Don't mind my application, it's the worst. But look at this shade, how beautiful it looks. I really, really like this. This is more neutral, this is for every day, uh, for my work. I really, really like it. Went so smooth on, so even. It feels light on my lips, doesn't feel drying. I love it. I love this shade. I think this is going to be my favorite. Okay, then we go into this double team, this shade here. This small pinky shade, double team, and see how that works. Okay, this shade it's nice. Now it's not my cup of tea, it's not my favorite shade. I don't think it looks flattering on me, but I do like that I have it in this palette because I can use it over another nude shade in the set on my lips or maybe mix with the darker shades so do like it and I think now it looks even because I had to work with it a little bit so this one looked more streaky than the others but it doesn't look bad right now it looks even and I did made it even but I have to work with this a little bit more with the than the others right now I feel like I don't need to use any lip liner with these lipsticks but we'll see how the others will work this one feels more drying than the others. Not terrible, dry doesn't feel heavy, but it feels more, less moisturizing than the others. Okay, let's go into this purple, shallow, I think it's called. Okay, now I had time to work with this lipstick a little bit more, but this is the patchiest of all of them. Doesn't look very even, and it's more most moisturizing than the others. Doesn't feel heavy, maybe not the, not the best shade for me, but as I said before, it's, I can mix it with other shades in here and get a whole new lipstick. But I like how it feels on my lips, so it's a nice shade. Not my favorite, but it's a nice one. Okay, and let's go with the last shade in the first row and it's the red one the one that I'm most excited about okay this red is beautiful beautiful lipstick beautiful shade but it, it reminds me a lot of this pink shade here it's kind of it has more of that dry texture than the others it's not as more uh, moisturizing as the others it doesn't feel very dry on the lips it does feel more dry than the others and i had to work with it a lot of course it's red you have to be careful when you apply the red shade and this one will maybe need a light lip liner but i can go without one but it would work better if i had a lip liner before i apply this lipstick so let's go over to the metallic shades and I'm going to take this purple shade, the metallic first, and this is called Banger. So this is a beautiful shade. Now I didn't expect them to be like metallic metallic because I did watch other reviews and I do get what they say it has a shimmer because it does have like a glitter in it uh, that kind of makes it more metallic and uh, this shade is a little bit patchy to wear 
on its own. Now, of course, you can do it, but I had to build it so intense so it doesn't look too patchy. Now, I think uh, from the other reviews that these shades are better using like uh, over the others down here because they do match. So to wear this alone, it's possible, but it does, does look a little bit patchy, if you can see. And I did try to kind of uh, make it more even, but when I go over with the brush, I just remove around the lipstick. Uh, but I think it's a beautiful shade. And I do like that it has small glitter in it. It doesn't have chunk of glitter. It feels soft, doesn't feel heavy. Feels moisturizing, like the matte version of this lipstick. And I do like it. I do like it. It's a bold color. Let's go into the next shade. Amulet, this one. This one I feel is more metallic than the first one. Doesn't have as much glitter in it as the other one. It doesn't have at all. I don't think it has glitter. I do have like a couple of glitters on my list, but I think it's from the first shade. I think so, I'm not sure. But it looks more metallic than the other one. And it looks nice and soft and more even. So this one, of course, you can wear alone. Let's go to the next shade. Fast Talk. I really didn't have to work a lot with this shade to get this this even. I really like this shade. Now it's metallic, but it has has some glitter in it. But like I said before, it's not big chunks of glitter. It's small glitters, glitters. It doesn't feel on the lips. I really like this shade. Really, really like it. I think this one is so far my favorite shade in this palette of the matte. No, of the metallics one that I tried so far, but I really like it. Feels soft, moisturizing. Okay, let's go to the next shade, Big Bang, this pink one. And this one looks like it has the most glitter in it. Okay, this shade is very strange. Why I say that is because it feels soft, it feels moisturizing, but it looks like it's a clear gel with a lot of pink glitter in it. Not big chunks of glitter, but small, but small glitter parts. Now I can say it doesn't look beautiful closer. When I look at my lips this close, I can see glitter all over my lips. But I, when I move my mirror far away, it looks beautiful, it looks shiny, it looks nice. But I think this shade it works better with other lipsticks under it. And maybe this double T, the pink right under it. But on its own, it doesn't really look flattering as the others. So that's why I call it strange because it looks like a clear gel with a lot, lot of pink glitter in it. So, yeah. Okay. Let's go into this mad purple shade, metallic shade. But this one is a little bit better than the pink one before. Uh, it still has a lot of glitter in it, but it does have like purple undertone. So it looks nice by itself. And I do like this shade. I th also think this will be better topper over the shallow, shallow one, the purple down below. But it looks nice and I do like it. It's though the, le the least metallic shade in this collection of metallic shades in this palette but I do like this shade it feels moisturizing 
and it looks more even it doesn't look too patchy it's a little bit patchy but not too patchy so to wear this alone it won't be a problem okay my lips are so st my lips are so stained from the old lipsticks and yeah we have a last shade so the last shade is spark the red metallic let's try that one This one, this one is one of my favorites of all the metallic shades in here. It does has, of course, glitter in it that makes it metallic. It looks more like a lip gloss than a lipstick. It feels very nice and moisturizing, but I love this shade. It looks so nice on my skin tone. It looks so nice with this makeup look. Maybe not perfect with this makeup look, but I think it's an amazing shade and I love it. Really, really love this shade. Now, my final thoughts about this palette if you never tried any lipsticks from the urban decay vice lipsticks like i haven't i haven't tried any of urban decay's lipstick this palette is great for you something you play you can play with something you can experiment with try maybe some of the lipsticks and of the shades now i think some of these shades do exist like a lipstick some some of the shades are new i'm not sure which of the shades but I don't really know what of the sh which shade does exist as a lipstick I never tried any of the Urban Decay lipsticks I really don't know why but I really like this palette and I'm glad that I bought it and it was everything I expected because before I ordered this I was really researching and was really walk uh, looking and watching of the reviews and swatches and it was I knew exactly what I was getting into when I ge was getting this palette and I'm glad that I did because I do like it and I did really want this palette so I think the metallic shades are like everybody else says more glittery shades do work better over another shade than by, its, by themselves but I do like them they are moisturizing the lipsticks I really really like them uh, yeah so and I really love the brush I really love the brush now I did use this brush for all the lipsticks because I really wanted to see how this brush works and I can say I did, did dig in this palette a lot and it doesn't look messy. It doesn't look messy, it doesn't feel like it's going to be all, like lipsticks are going to be all over the place. Uh, you can scratch the shade down here uh, if you kind of took a little bit too much on the brush. But I really like this palette and this is going to go with me everywhere. And I know that Urban Decay did release a couple of other lipstick palettes before. I never, I never tried any of these. Thank you so much for watching. Please give a thumbs up if you like this video. Leave a comment down below if you tried any of the Urban Decay lipsticks, vice lipsticks, and what do you think about them? And if you own this palette, what's your thought about this palette? So thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Please subscribe if you already haven't if you already haven't and see you in my next video. Bye!